With Lisbeth gone, I'll be taking care of you. I'm sorry to drag you into Markarth's problems, but after that attack in the market, I'm running out of time. You're an outsider. You're dangerous looking. You'll do. You're an outsider. You're dangerous looking. You'll do. You want answers? Well, so do I. So does everyone in the city. A man goes crazy in the market. Everyone knows he's a forsworn agent. Guards do nothing. Nothing but clean up the mess. This has been going on for years, and all I've been able to find is murder and blood. I need help. Please, you find out why that woman was attacked, who's behind Waylon and the Forsworn, and I'll pay you for any information you bring me. Yes. It all started when I was a boy. My father owned one of the mines, rare for anyone who isn't a Nord. He was killed. Guards said it was just a madman, but everyone knew the murderer was a member of the Forsworn. I've been trying to find out why ever since. Gotten nowhere so far. And then I got married. I have a child of my own on the way. I swore I was going to just give up for my child's sake, but it's like my father's ghost is haunting me, asking me why. They're remnants of the old rulers of Markarth, natives of the Reach, followers of the old ways. The Nords drove them out of the city, Ulfric Stormcloak and his men. That was about 20 years ago. But somehow they're still here, and they're killing people. She's not from Markarth. The air about her screamed outsider. Visitors to the city usually stay at the Silverblood Inn. He was one of the smelter workers. I used to have a job down there myself, casting silver ingots. I never knew much about Whalen, except he lives in the Warrens, like all the other workers. Be careful who you talk to. If I can't get you something, I'm sure my wife will bellow at me until I can. Ah, yes. Rented the nicest room we had for a whole month. Best we all forget about her. Bad luck to talk about the dead in Markarth. Of course. But I can't just hand that over. Privacy, after all. Well, you seem like the honest sort. Here you are. Remember, ale is cheaper than blood in Markarth.
You. I've seen you snooping around, asking questions. Back off. You don't want to know what happens to troublemakers here. You're finding it. That's bad enough. This is your last warning, outsider. We keep the peace here. Stay out of our business. The Warrens isn't a place for your type. What do you want? It's where you go when you can't afford a room anywhere else. About the time they opened the mines, someone got the idea to throw beds in here. Laborers, the sick, the lame, we're all here. That's right. Welcome to Markarth, Traveler. Thank the Divines you can choose to live somewhere else. Oh yes, I know everyone who sleeps in the Warrens. Kind of the one who passes the keys around. I guess someone else will be taking his room now. Sorry, but you don't exactly belong here. Trust is hard to come by here. But all right. Uh-huh. You don't want to be here. No one wants to. Don't know anyone here who doesn't have rattles or ataxia. digging around where you don't belong. It's time you learned a lesson. Someone who doesn't like you asking questions. Come on, let's see what you're made of. Son of a... Piece of pit bait. I was sent by Nepos the Nose. The old man hands out the orders. He told me to make sure you didn't get in the way. That's all I know, I swear. I used to be an adventurer like you. And I took an arrow in the knee. The Treasury House is really just for patrons of the Silverblood family. You don't belong here. For one, the landowners of the Reach. It goes without saying that they rely heavily on us for our silver and support. All the miners, farmers, and laborers in the Reach get their daily wages through us. Nepos the Nose handles that part of our business. He has a way with the workers. You want Thonar Silverblood. He handles all the family business. If you're here to talk politics, though, you'd want his brother, Thongvor. He spends most of his time in Understone Keep.
It's an old family, very well respected throughout the Reach. The Silverbloods run nearly all the lands in this hold, as well as the local inn. And of course they own Sidna Mine, the finest prison and source of silver in Skyrim. I'm afraid he's asked not to be disturbed. He has important business. Oh, I'm sorry to keep you. Head right in. I have records I need to tend to. I work for the Silverbloods. Help clean. Just here to work. I've worked in the Treasury House for almost 20 years. There isn't an inch of this building that I haven't cleaned up. I'm married to Thonar Silverblood. Keep that in mind while you're speaking to me. He's the real head of this family. He may not be the eldest, but all the work that keeps us respected is handled by my Thonar. My dear Vagrant, we're the only family worth knowing in Markarth. We own everything in this city, even the jail. And guess who owns the Silver Blood Inn? Not that we named it that. The people just insisted. Yes, I was bored talking to you anyway. What are you doing here? I told them no visitors. What did you expect? That no one was going to notice you butting into business that wasn't yours? The guards know who holds the purse strings in this city. And I don't like snoops. Markarth is my city. You have no right looking into my business. Now get out. For the purse horn. Ah! What? By the gods, Vetrith! You're as good as dead. My wife. They killed her. Damn Madanok. Damn his forsworn backside. Fine. You want to know what the forsworn really are? They're my puppets. I have their king rotting in Sidna Mine. He was supposed to keep them under control. Madanach, the king in rags. While we were off fighting the elves in the Great War, Madanach was busy ruling over the Reach. Until Ulfri came and put them down. When their uprising was crushed, I had Madanach brought to me. He was a wild animal, but a useful one. I offered him a stay from execution, if he used his influence to deal with any annoyances that came up. Competitors, agents, idiots. So I've let him run his little forsworn rebellion from inside Sidna Mine. Now he's out of control. My prison. The source of half the silver in Skyrim. The most secure prison in Damriel. No one escapes. I thought keeping Madanok down there would keep him under control. You already got what you wanted, you damn hound. This is your fault. You and Madanok are animals, and I'll see you both rot to death in Sidna Mine for this. Now get out of my house! Why are you bothering me, Outsider? Then you're talking to the wrong man. You want that elf in the keep, Calcimo. The only thing I'll tell you about Markarth is to stay out of our business. We have enough around here without some Outsider causing trouble. 
I should get back to work. Money doesn't count itself. Excuse me. What's your business here? If you must know, I'm the maid. And the master of the house is old and needs his rest. So if you don't have any business, leave. Wait. It's okay, my dear. Send him. <laughs> yes, Nepos. You heard him. Go on in. Yes? I'm sorry about my housekeeper. She's a little protective of me. Now what is it you want? Ah yes. You've proven to be a real bloodhound. Well, you've sniffed me out. I've been playing this game for almost 20 years. Sending the young to their deaths. All in the name of the Force Woman. And I'm tired. So tired. My king, Maranok. When the uprising fell at the hands of the Nords, they threw him in the mines. I don't know how, but he lives. I get his messages, and I hand out his orders without question. Markarth and the Reach are our lands. That is why we are the Forsworn. We cannot claim the home that is rightly ours. But then, during their war with the Elves, we had our moment. We drove the Nords out of the Reach in a great uprising. Then Ulfric and his men came. Those of us who didn't run were executed, except for myself, my king, and a handful of others. My dear boy, what makes you think you're getting out of here alive? You were seen coming in. The girl at the door is a Forsworn agent masquerading as a maid. You aren't the first one to have gotten this far. You won't be the last. I'm sorry. You just had to go and cause trouble. Now you have to pin all these recent murders on you. Silence witnesses. Work, work, work. Same thing we do with all the other natives who want to change things around here. We had a nice little deal going between Thonar and Madanak until you and Eltra started snooping around. Well, you wanted to find the man responsible for those killings. You'll have plenty of time with the King in Rags when you're in Sydney Mine. You'll never leave Markarth. Ah! 
Halt! You're under arrest for murder and conspiracy against the city of Markar. You aren't fooling me. Trusted witnesses have seen you commit several murders. And there are accounts of your suspicious behavior throughout the city. Now come quietly. You'll never see the sun again. No one escapes Sidna Mine. No one.